Hello and welcome back to Minecraft. Apprentice 8 here, and uh, you know what I think is really cool? Fireplaces. More specifically, automated fireplaces. So check this out. Uh, this is, of course, your standard uh, Minecraft fireplace. We're going to be burning some netherrack in here, uh, which is always helpful because it'll just burn indefinitely. You don't have to reload it with wood or anything like that. But uh, let's say I'm not carrying some flint and steel around on me, and I want to have a nice toasty Minecraft fire. Well, I'll just flip this lever and boom, there you have it. Another rack is popped out, and then a couple of dispensers that have fire charges in it behind uh, then light the nether rack. Okay, then you flip the, the lever again and it goes right back out. So what's happening here is when the nether rack is pushed out, it's being lit on, lit on fire, and then when the uh, power is then turned off, the nether rack blocks are pulled back. And once those nether rack blocks are moved, the fire is extinguished. So nice and simple. That should make sense. Now, as a matter of personal preference, I happen to like the look of buttons over levers. Well, this, of course, poses a little bit of a problem. Uh, if you replace this with, let's say, a button, and you hit that button, well, the fire goes out just like it should, but then you'll notice it pops right back out and lights on fire again. That is because, as you may or may not know, uh, buttons only power for a couple of ticks and then go right back off again. So this is obviously not going to work for what we need. What we need to do is make this button act as a lever. Now you may, may remember from a previous tutorial that I did when I did this with uh, pressure plates. I made a pressure plate act as a lever. If you saw that, some of this may be a little bit of a review for you, but you know, stick with me. Relevance is coming. So this is going to be the final product, okay? So you've got your button, you push it, and uh, the fire comes out, it burns indefinitely, hit the button again, and it goes out and stays that way indefinitely. Let me show you what's going on behind the scenes. Here's how you're gonna set up your fireplace. Uh, first thing you're gonna need is a couple of sticky pistons, okay? So go ahead and place a sticky piston here and here. And then you're gonna wanna place your nether rack in front of it. Okay, so these sticky pistons will push the nether rack out and pull it back in. Now directly above that, you're gonna place your dispensers right there and there, and then you're gonna hide those with some brick or whatever material you like. Stone works just as well. Uh, and then we're gonna be powering this all with a lever. I'm gonna show you the basic design first, and then I'll show you how to make that uh, button work as a lever like we talked about before. So now to power all of this, you're gonna need a couple of redstone repeaters, which I have here. And then you'll just run a little bit of redstone along the side. I think I went one too far on that one. There we go, to there. And we're gonna place a redstone torch. So this lever is going to power this redstone torch on and off, okay? And then uh, that of course carries the, uh, the power to this redstone. We're gonna need to lo load some uh, fire charges Okay, into our dispensers. And now when we come around here, you'll notice you flip the switch and that's in the off position. Flip the switch again. The uh, netherrack bricks pop out and there is your fire. Okay, now let's switch this to a button. I'm gonna show you how to do that. And before we actually build it into the fireplace, I'm gonna show you this mechanism. And again, I, I mentioned that previous tutorial I did. Uh, this is exactly the same thing that I did there. So uh, you can skip ahead if you've already watched that. But basically, we're gonna place this L shape. Any type of block will work. We're gonna put a couple of redstone on the top like that. Here's our button that's gonna be doing all the work. On each side of this, we're gonna place a couple of redstone torches. And then directly below this, we are going to place a block of redstone, and this is why. We're gonna place two sticky pistons this way and this way. So when you flip this button, these sticky pistons are going to play tug of war with this redstone block. So observe, you flip the button and it gets pulled to the left, flip the button and it gets pulled to the right. So the button function itself has not changed at all. You'll notice when you flip the button, the redstone goes on and then back off, but uh, when it does that, it's making these pistons move this redstone block back and forth. Now, here's why that's important. We're going to run some redstone from this to power our system. So you'll notice that now the redstone is powered on. Flip our button, and now it's powered off. And it will stay that way until we flip the button again. 
Make sense? Maybe not. Maybe need to rewind it a bit and watch it again. That's fine. Once this makes sense to you, we'll move on to this final step. So the uh, setup is going to be exactly the same. You're going to put in your sticky pistons. You're going to place in your nether rack. You're going to put in your dispensers. And then you're going to hide it all with a couple of bricks. Okay, so none of that has changed. The one thing that has changed, this is going to be a button instead of a lever. With me so far? All right, come back here. This is all the same as well. Place your redstone repeaters. Now here's where things get a little bit different. We are going to place our redstone torch, which again is going to be carrying the power from the button to the back side here. Okay, but instead of running the power down along here, I'm actually going to place a block here. We're going to go up with it. Uh, because instead of running the redstone back here and then having that mechanism you know, out here and taking up all kinds of space, I'm actually going to build it right into the back of the fireplace to keep it kind of compact. So we're going to carry the power up from the torch to this redstone here, out this way, and we're going to place a couple blocks here and run redstone here. So this is our L shape that we had over there. On each side of this, we're going to place a redstone torch. Directly below, below that will be our redstone block. And just temporarily to place these, I'm going to place that there. And then that there. Okay, so now these redstone torches, not necessary. These redstone torches are powering the pistons below. They're going to be playing tug of war just like before. And uh, we're going to need somewhere to run our redstone to. So we'll go ahead and run it down from here, down this way, and then to these two redstone repeaters. Now, of course, we need our fire charges. Where are those at? OK, so we're going to load our fire charges into the dispenser on each side. And now, theoretically, cross your fingers. When we flip this button, here we have it. Automatic fireplace powered with a single button. Not two buttons, not a couple of levers. One single button, nice and clean. Turns off again. Perfect. I like it. What do you guys think? Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and like, subscribe if you'd like to see more. And uh, as always, thanks for stopping by. Who's this guy? Ro ro roboticist. Roboticist. What, what is he doing here? Is he going to help us here? Don't just stand there. Do something. This robot is dying. Keep on. Uh,